thanks for watching guys if you could go ahead and subscribe follow and like this video that would make a huge difference to me and get it out there to more people thank you so much i stumbled on a sad scene this morning i took an early morning walk christmas eve to see the sprinkling of snow before it disappeared and as I was headed home from the park, I saw flashing lights and recognized the medical examiner van. It was pulling away from a park bench covered in newspaper and blankets, now unoccupied, with a shopping cart full of belongings next to it. Cops stood around going through the now-orphaned belongings, stuffing them into trash bags. They'd sit there until Monday, when trash collection begins again after the holiday. In a neighborhood full of tiny spaces most can never afford, and in a country where the American dream of a home and supporting a family is unattainable for most, this sight is becoming far too common. I've seen four dead homeless in my lifetime that I know of. We passed so many people by on the street, on the train, who knows how many others were discovered not to just be passed out, not to be asleep. A society must be judged by how it treats the neediest among us. For a nation the right proclaims to be Christian, we do little to follow the ways of Christ, a healer and helper to the sick and the poor. At every turn we scream, there is no money for health care, there is no money for housing, there is no money for education, while we fill the pockets of Daddy Warbucks and fuel perpetual conflicts around the world, killing innocents and those who believe or look different from us. Our budget for hatred looms large as we drop pennies in the coffers of compassion. Why do you think we are always at war? Every bomb, every missile, every attack we make creates a new generation of enemies who rightly hate us. The people who came and destroyed their lives. That's the point. We breed enemies so no one will question a defense budget that funnels money to the rich to make them richer. They trade blood for cash as they bleed this country dry under the guise of patriotism. I'm so tired of giving my tax dollars to anti-humanitarian evils wrapped up in a flag. I cannot afford an American dream. In a land where we are robbed to fund killers, I can only survive and try to be patient. My dream, like many, now has become to escape to a land where our work is used to fund compassion and make life better for all, not just build a paradise for the rich on the back of the workers.